Hi, this is Gary Kay, and this is a special edition of my uh, video cast. I'm here actually in the Zoom headquarters here in San Jose, California, the worldwide headquarters for Zoom. And I have nabbed some time here with the probably one of the most famous people in cloud conferencing right now, Eric Juan, who uh, started as a founder of Zoom Video Communications. Eric, good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate it for your time today here. No, I appreciate your willingness to take this time. You're a busy guy. Here you've built a company from 2011 from scratch. You're up to um, uh, approximately 700 employees worldwide now. You have offices uh, here in the U.S., uh, Australia, and the U.K., four offices here in the U.S., in fact. Um, and then um, you kind of exploded. A lot of people would say out of nowhere, but 2001 to 2017 isn't exactly out of nowhere. So that's six years. You know, it's, uh, it's a long journey, right, to build a uh, start of a company. I think over the past six years, you know, I think we did make some good progress. But overall, I still think a lot of things are not done yet. And uh, the huge opportunity in the market, and every day we think about how to care about our customers, how to deliver happiness to our customers, how to keep delivering more and more innovative features. I think by doing that, I think our customer happy, I think our company will keep doing well. You know, the word happiness is all over your branding and your advertising campaign around the world. I've noticed that a number of times. A lot of people, probably don't know this, and you probably don't know that I know this, but at Zoomtopia last week, uh, here's the, the CEO of the company, straps on his back a barista machine, a coffee machine, and goes around and, and feeds the attendees, or, or serves the attendees of Zoomtopia, which are some of your largest users, coffee one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And so instead of standing there shaking their hands as they walk in, you're greeting them with a cup of coffee. Is that, I mean, obviously that's part of the culture here. That's right. Also, the, the idea you know, came from our marketing team because we all talk about for our user, our user conference, it's not only for us to you know, deliver some cool features to share with the customers. We really think about what we can do to really deliver happiness to the audience. And uh, some marketing team, they, they will share some ideas, not only for me to serve the coffee, other executives also there, they're to help you do the car washing as well. And overall, our goal is Make sure the audience come to our user conference for fun. E enjoy that, you know, not only just for learning some features. Yeah. Yeah, so you're trying to make everything fun. Um, the, the industry's changed quite a bit. I mean, you came as a VP of engineering at Cisco. I mean, back when you were there, it was all hardware-based and some software. What you're building here is all software and cloud-based. Um, where do you see this evolution sort of par ferreting out over the next two or three years? Yeah, a great question. So. When it comes to conference room market, I think you know over the past like, 10 to 15 years, the high end, you have a lot of uh, hardware solutions, customized hardware like from Polycom, from Cisco. I think that works very well for some high end conference room before. But uh, down, down the road, if, if you look at the trend of conference rooms, I truly believe, first of all, you cannot have customized hardware anymore. You got to have commodity hardware. And the software cannot be on-premise software. Got to be cloud-enabled software, and also cannot be you know uh, video-centric. Got to got to be collaboration-centric. Essentially, that's a trend for conference room uh, market. That's why you know we build our uh, Zoom room solution based on the commodity hardware, cloud-enabled software, and also focus on the wireless content sharing, video conferencing, digital signage, meeting scheduler. You know, not only for video conferencing, but overall for collaboration. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at Zoom. The majority of users are obviously using it on a desktop. They're, yeah. they're, they're pulling up the software application, they're dialing in with a meeting code, and they're connected, and they don't really know how it happens in the background. But obviously, in a case like this, where we're in a conference room and a meeting room application and huddle spaces, there's going to be a need for this Zoom room concept. The basic concept for Zoom room was what? To take the desktop experience and put it into a room, or what was the idea behind that? The idea is, you know, first of all, you know, we got to take a step back to understand what's the problem today of conference rooms. First of all, it's really hard to use, right? Probably for the first several minutes, you need to make sure the hardware ready, you know, you have a remote controller. I think really not easy to use. That's the first challenge. The second challenge is make sure you have, a, you know, very affordable price. You cannot like uh, sell like a 10K, 20K just for the well, hard rooms, right? The price also is, uh, is a challenge as well. Also, you know, how to interoperate with other systems. Like, hey, you, you, are, you and I were sitting in the conference room and others, they can join from home, use any other devices, make sure you have a, a greater quality. I think those are the challenges. So because of that, you cannot tweak your existing hardware-based systems. 
you got to build something from scratch. And that's, I think, what we're, we're doing here today. So the idea behind Zoom Room then is is universal compatibility, but also making something that you, it's a walk-in and use experience like the desktop experience. So you exactly. want to you want to make it. It sounds like what you're saying to me is even if they're not using Zoom on the far end, they can still participate. But I also don't want to make it where they have to come to the meeting 15 minutes before the meeting starts just to make sure it's actually going to work. That's right. Plus, actually, no matter which device you are going to use, like desktop, mobile, uh, conference rooms. You know, you got to have a very consistent, you know, product experience. You know, that's that's the key. So, w w there's a lot of fear in the Zoom room concept from the standpoint of the commoditization of the meeting room. How would you respond to that, and how do you see the opportunity for the integrator and the community at large to to sort of embrace the the, the Zoom room? Yeah, that, that's awesome question. So, we look at it from end user perspective. How can we make sure deliver a, a, a great experience from end to end? from the day the customer, before they deploy the hardware, and before they set up a software, before they start using the solution, make sure the customer feel comfortable. Because that's why you know, we have a PSU team. You know, mm -hmm. Our PSU team, we partner with a lot of uh, AV integrators, and we'll always you know, tell customer, hey, don't worry about those several hardware components, like a TV, or the, the microphone, or Logitech camera. Actually, we are responsible for that. So meaning from a design perspective, from an installation, from a software and management perspective, we, we, we tell a customer, you just walk into the conference room, just one click, you can start a meeting. A anything else, we are responsible for that. So with that, a customer say, oh, this is great. I do not need to like deal with multiple vendors. And Zoom, you are responsible for that. You know, behind the scene, for sure, we partner with a lot of other companies mm -hmm. to offer this end-to-end -end user experience. And also our software designer from the ground up you know, for the cloud, you know, compatible. Mm -hmm. That's what's very easy to use. And also the price-wise is extremely affordable, you know, for all the, the commodity hardware. By the way, the quality is great. And the customer, when they try our Zoom Room solution, they say, wow, this quality is awesome. And, and, and you are, you, you mentioned that you're partnering behind the scenes with a lot of companies, and included in that partnership is a lot of AV integration companies that yes. are doing, that are installing the yeah. monitors and the microphones and the, 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 the noise cancellation systems and, and mic okay. So, so th that, how is that partnership working? Have you felt like that's been a good partnership so far? Have you found, um, have you found that some cases it's been a barrier for you guys to grow quick enough because they are working slower than you are? Yeah, you are, you are right. So first of all, we do not grow too fast because we really really look at it from end user perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, previously, you know, if you want to deploy like a customized hardware solution, we never there's something wrong. Customer they need to look at if this is a problem. You know, coming from hardware or coming from AV integrators, mm -hmm. right? They do not know. They need to figure out a way who to talk with. But in our case, we tell customer, you always talk with us, mm -hmm. don't worry. And it could be our software issue, could be the hardware issue, could be the AV integrator issue, maybe set up not right. So customer realize, I have one company I can count on whenever there's any issues, that's a goal. But behind the scenes, for sure, we are, you know, taking, we are gonna take a, a leader role, right? to make sure tell customer we are responsible for that. And don't worry, we are going to fix the problem, no matter where the problem is coming from. So, so you're, you are, you are the, the frontline contact and behind the scenes, you're the one maintaining the relationship with the integrators and making sure that they're helping you get this stuff done and working within your system, and it's still profitable for them. Absolutely right. Otherwise, customer, they need to decide who sh they should talk with, right? It's yeah. really so not trying to match. simplify. The, when there's a cu customer support or technical support problem, you're establishing you as the single point of contact, even though you will work with the integrator to help figure out what the problem is. Absolutely right. That's exactly the reason why you know we offer this solution. We also also have a PSU team. Yeah. So if I were to come back here five years from now, what would you be talking about? What would be your central focus? Where do you see this industry evolving? If you can kind of put your uh, your your uh, you know crystal ball in front of you. I hope everybody, every customer, they are going to use Zoom, and we keep delivering happiness to our customers. And uh, you know, I, for sure, we are going to, you know, develop a lot of innovative features to keep delivering happiness to customers. Because based on customer feedback, you know, every day we think about it from end user perspective. You know, adding all those innovative features. Uh, down the road, five years out, I would see video is everywhere. I do not think anybody just use a voice call anymore. Almost every call, they should have video. I think that's, a, I think, the a vision. Yeah, well, one of the interesting things that you just kind of soft-launched but going to make a big deal about it, I think is going to be uh, very popular, is 
the transcription feature of Zoom calls. And uh, basically, now you have the ability to transcribe the call. Um, so turn it all into text, and it'll run simultaneous with the video and playback so that if you want to review a call, it not only helps for ADA, but also that's a great feature um, from a marketing perspective as well. Was that your brainchild, or did that come from, did you buy an Amazon Alexa and say, hey, I want to put this into Zoom, or what, how did that come about? Actually, also, you know, based on the customer feedback, right? You know, even two or three years ago, customers really like a Zoom. They recorded the session, but all, you know, quite often they see they want to understand who talked about what, right? You or someone mentioned something they do not know. They need to replay the video. Really hard to search for the content, mm -hmm. right? That's a challenge. That's why you know we came up with this idea, right? What, what if we have a meeting transcript? This is just a step one. Right. But down the road, overall, our goal is not only for meeting transcript. You know, we are working on you know, leveraging in artificial intelligence technology. Overall, our goal is to help you make sure how to measure your meeting in effectiveness. You know, after the meeting is over, we should tell you, hey, this meeting is not effective. Based on the meeting transcript, beating the face detection technology, that this is our goal, to make sure your meeting is more effective. This is just the step one. So, I mean, that's kind of an interesting concept. So, so from a, from a corporate management standpoint, that becomes valuable because you can figure out if these mid-level and low-level meetings are worth the time and make your, your company more efficient, theoretically, using AI. Exactly. That's why so AI is going to play a bigger role you know, when it comes to making your meeting more effective. This is step one, just to have a meeting transcript. And in fact, with the transcript feature, one of the things you can do is you can actually search for terms, and it'll take you where the term is and then match the video, and you that way you don't have to find where they talked about it. It literally runs you back to that point. Um, well, look, it, it, there's no, even regardless of what's happening in the industry, there's hardly anyone can say they're not impressive with your success and with the company's success and the product. It is a walk up and use experience. We don't get a lot of those in our industry of new technology. Um, you know, you, you get them from Apple and you get them from Amazon and you get them from companies like Google every once in a while, but you've, you've sort of made that in, impact on the, on the video conferencing market. Congratulations on your success. I greatly appreciate you joining me today. And this has been an opportunity to kind of get a glimpse of the future. And he gave you the future. He already, he gave you, he, he coded it, decoded it for you right here live on this uh, video cast. So Eric, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, Gary. I really appreciate it. You know, the, all the feedback from the customer side, like from you, I really appreciate it. Because of those feedback, that's why we're working hard, keep delivering happiness to our customers. Thank you. We've been happy being here today. It's been a great experience. I actually taught two of my uh, journalism school classes here live this morning to my class back in North Carolina from California using Zoom. Worked flawlessly. If you haven't tried out Zoom, you should try it. All you have to do is go to zoom.us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.